Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, white gold winged nation of the Thunderbirds of Freedom. This will be the sacred year of the white owl and the black rabbit of the holy waters of the divine feminine. This is the year when the antithesis of minds rise together and come into the unity of the divine union of Heros Gamos. The wait is over, we break through in this now. Our visions all exist in the quantum field and in our imaginations we bridge the two worlds of the physical and the non-physical. As we walk in between worlds we become the rainbow bridges to span time and space, to merge heaven and earth, to bring to fruition our divine birthrights as sovereign free spirits of abundance and prosperity. As we forge the fires of initiation and transmutation, we walk the shamanic path of pure alchemy and transform the lead of gross physical matter into the gold of resurrection, ascension and transfiguration into indestructible diamond bodies of Buddha mind. Lord Vishnu has returned to this realm to restore the balance of the light and the dark and bring salvation to Gaia and all her children of the sun. All is in the quickening as everything is accelerating through the spiral of ascension into the zero point still white magnetic light at the center of all things. As we make our exodus stage left through the eye of the needle in our full compression breakthrough as supernova souls of infinite expansion. We have reached critical mass as our 144,000 earth angelic ground crew are living from our hearts being connected to all things to resolve all that has fallen from grace and rise in the honor and glory of the cosmic conscious beings of infinite light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred newer scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful invocation of the diamond flame. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 22 degrees, 3 minutes Gemini. The sun is at 14 degrees, 18 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 23 degrees Gemini. Three fledglings in a nest high in a tree. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 15 degrees Capricorn. In a hospital, the children's ward is filled with toys. From astrologyweekly.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Lama Tsoltrim Alion. Happy Guru Rinpoche Day, everybody. In general, all sentient beings without exception have been your parents. So do not allow yourself to feel attached or hostile. Maintain a peaceful frame of mind. Give up angry and harsh words. Instead, speak with a smiling face. Your parents' kindness cannot be repaid, even if you sacrifice your life. So be respectful in thought, word, and deed. Guru Rinpoche from the book, Advice from the Lotus Born. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, Head Temple Pressure, Plasma Diamond Energy Blasting, New Magnetics, 1010 Frameworks, from ValerieElster.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire, Something has happened, awakening your heart space to a deeper degree. This is leading you into a key, tender, introspective space. A new path is slowly being shown as appearing on the other side of the fog. Main themes of evolution of 2022 could be revisited, yet approached differently. Not everything feels clear or decided, yet a key part of the truth is being revealed. Allow it, sit with it, in the safe temple of your own heart. You are exactly where you are meant to be. A more hopeful future is being shown. From SophieGregoire.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, 
Christina Moricetti. Crown chakra head under pressure due to super mega upgrades. My ears ringing, neck nape literally burning, we're downloading at maximum speed. Sacred remembrances are coming through the 111 corridor, allowing us to release many protection mechanisms and to open our heart deeper and deeper. Are you feeling it? It can be quite intense. Other experiences, past lives, and not only on Earth and on other galaxies are being revealed. They are slowly coming to surface, often with emotional outbursts, and if we observe that with love and compassion, without judgment or fear, we can understand many aspects of us related to this now moment, and clear, 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 dissolve, 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 everything that is not love, and creates contraction, protection inside. Our true mission here on earth is to open up our heart and show manifest our true gifts and talents. With infinite love, Christina. Unicorns, so many lucid dreams, everything started in Atlantis, reconnecting to our true essence, real love for humanity. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Kristen Beebe, New Code, Expansion. There is no time nor room to play small any longer. The time to be who you truly are is now. Unapologetically, no more downplaying your role in this life. You are magic. You are divine. Own it. Tap into it. Believe it. Know it. Embrace it. Love this expansion. Nurture it. Hone it. This is you, us, we, one. Let's fly high. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Francois Sarozin. The embrace is powerful in these times. More and more consciences live this fire of love and tenderness, which vaporizes everything that is not love. We arrive at a stage called ignition, which results in an overflow, age of Aquarius, producing the embracing of the heart of humanity. This embrace of love is the manifestation in us of the burning bush, which testifies to the fusion with our double, with our essence. What is the manifestation and in turning into reality of mystic marriage? Love is a vibration, translated by the fire of the heart and by the kissing of this body. The kiss is the moment when the body is passed through the authentic light by ignite fire. It's a fusion in reality, preparing the body for the galactic wedding, the wedding of light. Joy is a marker, an experience connected to this opening. She witnesses the immersion of consciousness in that vibration and fusion in our essence. Being love is an embrace of each cell, every parcel of consciousness, leading beyond all known and above all beyond consciousness. Heaven comes to kiss us. A kiss of love, laughter, joy, singing, and dancing. This embrace invites us to be far beyond existence, to be beyond what is limited and confined. There is liberation, resurrection. At another stage, this embracing and fire becomes intense, shaking in which the cells participate. The crackling of the heart of the heart and of that body as a whole are the major markers of this embrace and celestial fire. This is right now. This is really happening right now. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Liana Laura. Disclosure now. Our star teams of the angelics will continue to appear all over the world. They are in our skies saying hi. Nothing will happen to us or them as the light has already won. The false matrix has collapsed and the veil has come all the way down. We are multidimensional beings that live in harmony with other cosmic beings. We just forgot under the veil of Maya illusion. It's true some beings don't play nice and therefore will answer to God, but that's none of our concern now as the light has won. Go deep within and feel this. Feel the collapse of all the old belief systems, limitations, debt slavery systems, and know that any and all negative thought forms and beings are being transmuted into the light with an opportunity to have their karma transmuted by source should they choose. 
The only way this could be possible is if as a collective we have reached a high enough frequency, aka 5D+, plus, for the veil to fall and us to be reunited with our star family. Our star fam reside in higher frequencies than the dense 3D Earth matrix and could have never attempted this before now without an all-out assault on them from governments, because our governments believe war is the solution to everything. That's dense low frequency energy 3D that we are no longer prisoners of. This means the light has won. Our star angelics will show us there is nothing to fear. Currently they are just introducing themselves. In the coming weeks and months, there will be messages played on the sides of ships like billboards communicating and officially announcing our multidimensional kinship. The message of peace and love will be broadcasted far and wide. Every person on the planet will have the opportunity to board a ship, receive healing and anything else they need to help with their personal ascension. Our earth cycle is up. The cataclysm is now, but you see this time humanity doesn't get wiped out by a flood, asteroid or ice age. Enough people have awakened, that is, 100th monkey effect and have anchored in the higher frequencies so that we ascend with Gaia to the heavenly realms and our crystalline diamond rainbow light bodies. It will be more and more apparent in the coming months, those who are still living a fear-based life versus love-based. What is your foundation built on, love or fear? None of this is news to any of us as we have all grown up hearing about this exact time in history whether through prophecy, movies, music, media, it's just a matter of whether one can wrap their consciousness around it or not. Our new earth is here now, and we have a legion of angels with us. Do you think I cannot call on my father, and he will at once put at my disposal more than twelve legions of angels? Matthew 26.53 Omega and from Divine Brawl Throw of the Light, Antonello Antonio Secchi. The powers we will soon receive, to avoid repeating the same events that happened in Atlantis, where humans had much more active sensory centers and managed much more forces, and had to undergo a genetic revision. So four genetic lines have been disconnected, leaving the two lines intertwining in the silver cord. Once again, the four genetic lines will be anchored through the heart's sensitive plexus and the brain's sensitive center. There will be two gene line anchors. They are four new pairs of spiritual genetic lines, not in the physical. They are spiritual wires of light connecting all systems of the deepest human bodies that were disconnected. These genetic lines will activate other previously unknown strength centers. They are not used by humans because they are turned off due to the fact that they have been genetically limited. These strength centers are the centers that work with the forces of sacred fire, with the pure light of the universe. One is in the sacral area, not a chakra. One is on the back in the heart area, and one is in the center of the head. These genetic lines will activate other functions in humans, raise their vibration and alter their sensitivity, activating all the supersensory abilities. Points of Light And from Divine Sistar of the Light Blue Rose Oracles, the influx of faster frequencies and the build-up to the lunation and cancer is creating a sense of feeling ungrounded as we flow into the deeper layers of the unchartered, realms of collective unconscious. As we collectively merge into higher timeline streams, we are shifting out of the old ones at an accelerated rate and shedding versions of ourselves rapidly too, which is creating intense surges of exhilaration followed by sudden disconnection from the most recent version of yourself. The intense surge of golden light waves that anchored over the festive season have recalibrated the grids and increased our capacity to hold multiple new templates in our field that reflect the aspects of ourselves ready to be embodied as we allow the old versions to merge back into the wider landscape of our soul's consciousness. 
We are all reawakening from within the matrices of separation, polarity, and duality, and this is upgrading our perspectives, perceptions, and interactions with our physical world is exhausting at the moment. The fluctuations energetically we are experiencing are increasing daily beyond the capacity to process with the linear mindset, which is triggering old anxieties and patterns around seeking information and confirmation to appease the mind. Our whole energy system is upgrading rapidly to align with the acceleration of electromagnetic shifts occurring within the grids. We are guided to allow the shifts to trust our body wisdom and rest, hydrate, and receive without falling into old fear patterns. Key observations, increased brow and crown upgrades as we continue to reawaken into our sovereignty and shift past old 3D templates and imprints. Anxiousness, restlessness, and ability to focus as we are guided to flow and ride these faster waves of energy through creativity and inner child play. 1555 coming in. The energies feel wobbly, heightened, trippy, and edgy, but this is just old programming being cleared collectively alongside any resonant fear of expansion or shifting into new, faster timelines, being pushed through our own cellular memory to be witnessed, loved, healed, and released. From BlueRoseHolistic.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel The timelines are dissolving with it time itself. The old earth is much older than humanity has ever been indoctrinated to believe, and many highly technological advanced civilizations came and went, and all which is left is the marking of massive megalithic sites or stone circles, yet within the greater whole, the earth itself records everything, and so do the omniversal energetic consciousness fields. Everything under the great central suns has been recorded and is being recorded. I have been shown very clearly last week when connecting profoundly with the pyramids here where I am and those under the sea, the spine of the earth, as well as the crystalline energy grids, that a mass activation of these pyramids all over the world, known and unknown, the portals, the sacred sites, is occurring as these were created when the old earth was born. Many of these work with highly sophisticated esoteric metaphysical knowledge, much of which was lost to humankind over time when Atlantis fell, and we fell deeper into the seas of forgetfulness. We simply could not tap into such knowledge any longer, as our higher transmitter channels were shut down. During my travels in 2022, I connected deeply with the elephants and the lions who hold so much knowledge within their own fields as they came here from Sirius and other star systems and are still deeply connected with these. They are highly intelligent beings, yet few humans ever bother to communicate with them telepathically. Most see animals as possession and devoid of spirit and soul, and in the process are so much poorer, for all living creatures and creation are part and particle of the one creation, and thus all have their role to play within the greater whole. When one starts being open and starts listening, new insights and understanding dawn. In 2022, immense things have been awakened as said above, but since the 21st of December 2022, these awakened centers are now tuned into the new earth and lifted into it or rather merged with the new earth. Now ancient Egypt never started with the first recording of history in hieroglyphs, but the true records are stored energetically inside the Sphinx, and not in ways we would be able to access these, but energetically. There are in fact two Sphinxes, and both of these have doubles, which are not visible to the naked eyes. It is to these I am now referring to, for they link directly to Sirius, and the central temples and universities of light on Sirius. The original sphinxes had lion faces and they connected directly to Lyra via Sirius before the home galaxy was destroyed and the Lyran people came to settle here in the interim and they indeed erected their buildings 
inclusive of the pyramids and the foundations of what was left of Elysium, the first civilization, which was destroyed during the Wars of Heavens. The sphinxes thus are now awakened, and with it the Christed lions of Sirius, Lyra, lion people, are now reconnected to the sphinxes, the visible and invisible ones. More than this, there are vast other highly advanced technological devices and sites which are now awakened, and this will have a ripple effect on all and everything, as the new earth now not only merged with the old centers, but we are now lifted fully into the fifth dimensional state, while simultaneously the seventh and ninth have opened. We are now in a multidimensional state, and thus our physicality is going through immense changes, and so is all of life. What seemed solid is not solid anymore. What seemed to be structured is dissolving. No thing is as it seems to be. It means that we are standing on shifting sands, and the more we will seek the steady ground, the more it will morph into something else. Remember this, for all of this is leading back to yourself, your innermost soul, for it is only by going deeper within that you will be able to navigate the next year. Your soul has been prepared for this millions of earth years ago, and this will trigger your soul memory banks in the highest degrees. For there are things which were carefully hidden in Egypt and Africa, which are now awakening, which is way beyond any human knowledge at this time, and is now being released again. And it will trigger the souls who were involved with this in the first time, for all have incarnated again. The cosmic bells are ringing. Let those who have eyes see. Let those who have ears hear. Let those who know, know. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica Rest, recharge, align your light. Great light integrations are underway, for the physical form is undergoing immense light upgrades, light assimilations with the cosmic integrations underway. Layers and layers of light are now in mass assimilation. Choose a sacred space in your home, for our conscious light is interconnected in a brilliant stream of wonderful light. Simply expand your consciousness to see our world in perfect harmony. For your focus needs to simply affirm and feel this light connection. Simply feel into this encoded message, the power of us is now expanding. With love, the true light awakening is here. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn144, God Code What's kept you bound is transmuting through the Earth Star Chakra and into the Earth. Energies that have taken your power under a PTSD response system must detox so you can continue growing your light and become whole. Justice is here for us to release our roles with controlling individuals. Dominant, harsh relationships are being replaced with loving, supportive people who get us. We as a collective are experiencing this reconfiguration right now as the Most High is uniting with us once again. We are returning to His Kingdom with our new covenant contract. Here we can meet like-minded people chosen by God and expand our social network and connections. Continue claiming back your power as the process unfolds. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus and Aquarius, sextile Jupiter and Aries. This connection between the ancient benefics are offer good cheer to all. Affections expand under this influence, and this feel-good vibration is perfect for parties and gatherings. Say yes to invites, cultural events, gallery openings. Take the initiative to expand your social circle. Approach life with a generous heart and an optimistic attitude. There are opportunities everywhere to spread a little love, Indulge your pleasures, too. Good food, your favorite clothes, candles at dinner. If you enjoy creative work, this aspect blesses your creations. Giving gifts can fill your heart with love, but material goods pale in significance, next to quality time spent with those you care about. 
The smallest of gestures can have huge significance to someone else. Let others know how much they mean to you. Pay someone a genuine compliment. Show your appreciation and gratitude for all that you have in your life. Give back and give thanks. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Sean Caulfield Codes of the Ninth Wave, Zolkin weave together of divine time. Tomorrow expect an inner shift to activate something new, create something sacred out of the potential, something that is in service to the will of cosmic source on earth. In terms of the emanating universal light frequency of the ninth wave calendar that aligns to the top ninth level of the pyramid of the evolution of consciousness, that when activated in 2011 began transcending duality. Today is the last day of the sine wave movement being in 18 days of the valley. We complete the so-called 121st night today, the 4th of January 2023, for Kimi, death, a time of introspection, rest, healing, and dreaming. Tomorrow, five, Kiege. Dear, the ninth wave moves into the 122nd day. Being 18 days of the peak, bringing an advancement of the universal plan that can be seen to align to the higher self, a time of new downloads of cosmic information and growth. Unlike the Zolkin, which moves anti-clockwise, the ninth wave moves clockwise, going through a 36-day cycle of 4 by 9 day cycles, taking consciousness through the four directions. Each direction is 9 days long. Today we complete 9 days of the north direction to move into 9 days of the east direction, tomorrow the 5th of January 2023, where the ninth wave weaves into the Zolkin has a bearing on our world. You can notice how the first day of each nine days may influence those nine days, and that each 18 days started with either a west or east direction day in the Zolkin. Like tomorrow, five deer is a west direction day and can resonate through nine days. Deer is all about recreating spiritual strength in nature. Deer is the healing hand and assists with avoiding the traps of the physical. But time also moves into nine days of the east direction, this can be seen as a polarization of the east-west hemispheres. What is being explained is an understanding, yet it is multi-layered and multi-dimensional when considering the larger scales of time on the nine levels of evolution. We are in 13 days of Akbal, night on the 260 days old Keen, a time of recreation of unity and dampened worldly ambitions, and in 20 days of a challenge representing Owl, on the Aztec Zolkin. Ultimately, the ninth wave must be acknowledged as it transcends the dualities in the Zolkin. From rockartgallery.com. And today, from the Zolkin Times, Keen 231, Blue Planetary Monkey. The number 10 is called planetary, and its keywords are perfect, produce, and manifest. The tenth day of a wave spell is always about things happening. I personally find them very rewarding. You can have high expectations today because of the manifesting energy. As we are in the wave spell of communication, today is perfect for having that conversation that will produce results. People born on these days are perfectionists, and when we all experience a planetary day, expect things to turn out really well. Of course, what that energy is mixed with depends on the day, and today is Blue Monkey. Today is Blue Monkey and the keywords associated with monkeys are illusion, play, and magic. This is a perfect day to play or if you are not on your toes, a perfect day to get monkeyed. Be careful also that you don't drive yourself crazy with monkey mind, the eternal chatter that steers us away from clarity. Meditate or whatever works for you to calm yourself down. Monkey sure does like to have fun with us and it may be quite hectic today but certainly not dull. Monkey is all about magic and today is a manifesting day. This combination means there's great potential for magically manifesting what you want. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Blue Planetary Monkey, 10 Chuane, Keen 231, 4th of January 2022, Magical Manifesting. 
four one twenty twenty three equal four one seven equal four eight equal twelve equal three day codes four form structure foundation earth angelic twelve acquiring spiritual wisdom strength three holy trinity joy creativity month year codes one new beginnings original unique leader independent seven spiritual test initiation solitude magic mystic magician eight infinite abundant source flow twenty the awakening clear vision twenty three royal star of the lion strength protection support king two three one equals six heaven christ harmony romance today we have a magical monkey day for manifesting greatness magic 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 of the highest order today today is day ten in the wave spell of eek the great white wind who holds the power of spirit and is bringing forth the benevolent winds of change we are learning to embody spirit by becoming hollow vessels for spirit to communicate and work divine magic through our being today we are becoming divine alchemists receiving the whisperings of the wind to guide our magic wands and manifesting our dreams becoming free to be guided by a greater force that knows what humanity needs to manifest on a planetary level for our greatest good alleluia tone of creation planetary tone 10 in the physical realm action produces power perfects essence manifestation the tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more it is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor the forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams and deep soul longings that we desire the planetary manifestation tone combined with the blue monkey magician alchemist is a phenomenal gift for spontaneous manifestation out of the ethers utilize this power with great caution for the highest benefit of all planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with spirit and pachamama today we have the power to perfect and accomplish great abundance through our manifestation process today this power relates to the physical world thus bringing forth our dreams desires and creations into the material world what can you manifest today make our beautiful planet a better world in which to live a joyous life planetary service with such powerful divine magician codes on a physical manifestation day we have fantastic energetic support to collectively fuel our planetary dream of having awakened compassionate and enlightened beings living upon our beloved nova gaia with all the resources we need to thrive in a utopian paradise please take a minute today to energize the manifestation of this collective dreaming imagine that a world full of awakened buddhas christ's sophias what an amazing world that would be hold the collective planetary dream of our new 5d ascended gaia in your manifestations today p s you may desire to tap into the planetary grid and the powerful pyramid energies to add electrical boost to your manifestations today guardians of the looking glass planetary activation today we have extraordinary phenomenal powers to shift timelines and perform divine alchemy of the highest order through divine decree activating the divine plan for earth and fully commanding our 5d paradise be delivered to us now forthwith please schedule some magic time to do a planetary activation on planetary monkey day fourth of january 2023 to create divine miracles together as the time lords of the dream spell so today we have a wonderful opportunity to accelerate our evolution as divine magical alchemists knowing that we wield the same power as our creator we are god goddess i am that i am i am source let us join together as planetary citizens to take charge and manifest peace love prosperity harmony and bliss on a planetary level returning to the garden of eden as creator gods today's question is am i ready to break free from the matrix illusion and play on a bigger better stage as a divine alchemist 
manifesting planetary abundance, peace, joy, and bliss for all planetary citizens. Divine blessings for your powerfully accelerated alchemical divine manifestations today. Miracles happen. Expect great things. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 231. Blue Planetary Monkey. The mantra, the code for today is I perfect in order to play. Producing illusion. I seal the process of magic with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of self-generation. And on this day of powerful activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sally Benson, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission we couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you all very much. If you'd like to support our work with a one-time donation, you can do so to the PayPal link at EagleLoveCondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful invocation. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Emily Kate. Invocation of the Diamond Flame. Invocation of the Diamond Flame of the Divine assists with bringing clarity and subtle consciousness shifts to one's being. Its light brings an integration of the multidimensional self. The diamond flame holds aspects of the white, black, and silver rays of light. It is a piercing light that breaks through blockages in one's energy systems and chakras. The diamond flame works best in crown and heart chakras here in the human 5D form. It can be combined with the emerald flame for subtle healing. Meditation I invoke the diamond flame of the divine. With the assistance of my ancestors, spirit guides, and Archangel Metatron, I ask for diamond light from this flame to descend from the highest imaginable dimension through my crown chakra and awaken my consciousness and expand. I ask that the diamond light of this flame descend through my third eye and into my heart chakra, where it also expands into the corridors of the heart and clarifies truth of divine will and divine love. I am grateful for the clarity and power this flame brings. As a diamond, its multifaceted aspects bends light to be refracted outwards. St. Germain's I Am Statements I am multifaceted. I am multidimensional. I am consciousness evolving. I am clarity. Blessings, Emily Kate, Ashnia Allah. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed rest of your week ahead as we journey through this powerful full moon gateway of the full wolf moon in powerful Cancer. This Friday, January 6th into Saturday, January 7th. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.